afternoon, good evening, depending upon the place where you are watching BNP TV today. And uh, this is your standpoint one more time, and we are so delighted to have you again. And uh, with uh, my co-host Kelly, how are you doing? Today? I'm fine, thank you, Pat. I'm happy to be with you again. Thank you. Yeah. The pledge is mine as well. Yeah. Okay, we are also with a guest here. Uh, we call him, his nickname is Mr. Captain. All right. Could you please, uh, we are happy first of all to have you again and we want you to greet our viewers again. Maybe tell us yeah. where you've been because you've been, you, sure, where you sure. be in this place, but we no longer see you nowadays. Yeah. So thank you very much. It's a great pleasure, respect and honor for me to be here. So it's been some quite long time, but for those who don't know, my, my name is Elise Nsengiyunga, but many people know me as Captain, as you recently said. Yeah, I'm happy to be with you guys. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Where have you been? Because I remember you used to uh, be here, but <laughs> you disappeared for a while. And, uh... mm. <laughs> so, you know, life is, life is all about the struggles and hassles. So we have to maybe sometime take in life. Or... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's true. So uh, today we'll be talking about leisure. Is leisure time essential for workplace effectiveness? That's what many people ask themselves because you know when they go to work, they stay there the whole day without you know getting some time and sometimes they are stressed. We see them you know like you know struggling almost every single minute of their work. So what do you think about that? Uh, I'll ask <laughs> by uh, Kelly's opinion. What do you mm, think about ladies that? Ladies first. Mm, sure. Mm, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Um, leisure time is very important for well-being at work because uh, work is very stressful. We are always stressed. So we need uh, to do some activities to, to, to pull away the stress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, you know, a whole year is made uh, over three hundred sixty-five days, and almost like it's it's, it's uh, eight thousand one hundred sixty or seventy hours a year, and you find people, you know, struggling every single day, try to find uh, you know uh, something to put on the table. You know, they are always uh, trying to win the bread of their families and sometimes they spend their whole time, you know, mostly a job without even, like, you know, taking some time. So, do you ha share the same opinion with Kelly? W especially now we are focusing ourselves on, on, on at work, well, at workplace, work yes. So, depending on my point of view on the topic, I can say for me, Yes, as my sister has been saying that, of course, the job is stressful. But we have to understand that it's a job, isn't it? It's a job, not a rest or not a break. Because I'm just going to base on the country, Burundi, isn't it? So, normally in Burundi, so I'm going to go deep in this topic after, but what I can say for me in Burundi, no, it's really not. I don't really support a leisure time for, for in a workplace in Burundi. I don't really support. I'm going to explain to you why and how after. Thank you. All right. Have you heard what he's saying? I want to ask him this question. Do you think that giving to your employees some time to do leisure activities will um, make economy to grow or to go down? few minutes. So that's a question Leech. you're asking that's me. So of course, yes, you know, let me tell you something. The time lost, it never comes back, isn't it? You can be 30 minutes. You can be while doing minutes. leisure activities. Yeah, I'm talking about leisure time at workplace. It means you stop working for a while, then you be like relaxing, isn't it? That's what you mean, in fact. So even if it can be, for example, like 30 minutes, that's real now for, for an intelligent person to do a better job that can contribute something, the development of the country. Yeah, that's... On my opinion, mm -hmm. when you have uh, 15 or 30 minutes of to-do leisure activities, mm -hmm. it will improve your well-being. 
so that you may improve your work. Oh. Yeah, that's my opinion. That's an, that, you, that, that, that you, was my point. You're going to do um, uh. intellectual activities, for instance, reading something, praying for those who pray, or socializing with your co-workers, then that will improve your effectiveness at work. You know, let me tell you something. You know what's, what's killing us Burundian people? We are normally following the Eurocentric philosophy in a place work, isn't it? But normally, we are just working the philosophy of those European people, maybe who colonized us before. But if you try to analyze how hard they are working, we are not doing the same. Mm -hmm. So let me give you a topical example. In Burundi, uh, we start working from Monday to Friday, isn't it? And if I'm not wrong, we, we say that we believe that you work eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. But if you try to count very well, it's like six or seven, if I'm not wrong. And those six and seven hours a day is not every day. Burundian people, you can find them at work, for example. They wake up early in the morning, go into the job. They know in their mind that that's a job they are going to do. But after getting there, they start, you know, like chatting. It's for them, it's like every time it's like a leisure time for them. They are really not working hard. So that's why for me, I don't see any importance for them to be given a leisure time since they are maybe chatting or what. You understand? Don't do not generalize yeah. things here. The Burundians are very hardworking people. They are hardworking people. Yes. Uh, one says they are not hardworking people. Yeah, they are not. Another one say we are hardworking, hardworking people. So maybe uh, the new generation. But I know that I I grew up hearing my daddy saying that you can't live while when you're not a work a very very hardworking person. But nowadays, maybe our generation, we do not consider work as they par our parents did. But they used to be very, very hard working persons here in Burundi. Yeah. So it's up to us to be like, but do not generalize. Uh, and, and now we are talking about today's, mm -hmm. you know. All right. Some today's of us are very hard working people. Uh, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> of course, some of us. So I want to know, like, what are some of the activities that we can use at the workplace as a later time? I mean, what are they? What do you think people can implement so that they stay productive and they also have the time to release their stress and chill and relax? Uh, it depends. Maybe uh, my later activities or my hobbies and your leisure activities are your hobbies too. My hobby is to read. Maybe your hobby can be to do a physical activity. Um, your hobby may be to socialize with the others. It would depend on the person. All right. He's saying that we, uh, mostly, and that's true, uh, that people like uh, from civil, civil servants, mostly, they have uh, eight eight hours per day of working mm -hmm. and uh, even people in even the private more. sector yeah even people in the private there are, sector there are people who work mostly, 10 hours 10 hours a day, per day yeah. so what time should they get for later i mean according to you what do you think should be the time you know reserved mm -hmm. to later sure. in those 10 hours a day but mostly we we see that they they say it's eight hours but sometimes as he said sometimes you find they are not really using them you know, sure. perfectly. Sometimes it's not really the case. Well, Patrick, as I said before, it depends. Yeah, sure. My time would, could be one hour <laughs> per day, 30 minutes in the a.m. and 30 minutes in the p.m. And for Patrick, it could be 30 minutes. For you, it could be 50 minutes. It depends. But yes, of so course, it, it depends. It depends. But idea. you know, in a, like as a maybe you are a CEO somewhere, you can not work like it. Uh, you know, like I don't know. Maybe it happens. You know, people like set rules, uh, based themselves on individuals. But most of you find when it's an institution, there's set rules that will be applied to everybody. So you say I be given 30 minutes, but you be given an hour, or you know. Do you understand my question? Mm. Yeah, can uh, suppose your CEO. If, if mm. it was me, the employer, mm. I'll give thirty minutes 
mm. in the a.m. and 30 minutes in the p.m. But to do efficient things, not to to go there and uh, gossip, no. To read something, to do something which can help your, your mind, uh, to do some physical exercises, for instance. Well, now you, you're becoming even a dictator. You tell you have to do this. <laughs> your exercises is like yes, this. My little <laughs> activities <Imagine. my leisure laughs> activity <laughs> must be <laughs> intellectual activities. Mm. <laughs> someone will tell you, you know, um, you know, I'm um, like I'm um, tearing up myself one more time instead of you know like getting something because like they use there is a period whereby people uh, for you know their leisure time they could just be watching the windows, like looking at the windows and... They are thinking. That's a cognitive activity. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, to take time to think. It's a very intellectual and important activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's true. And let me get back to Brother Captain. Yeah. Uh, you say that, you know, you know, it's as if you were saying uh, that, you know, many employees in the country are lazy. They don't ah, really so focus yes. themselves on, you know, their, their activity. Mm. So, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a manager, as an employer, uh, what can you do to get to the productivity that you're looking for? So, for me as a manager, to, give, to, to have a productive, maybe, a record or gain from the, from the job is, we should work hard. From morning, maybe from two, the only break I can give my, my employee is only for, for taking lunch, like a break at 12 p.m. or a.m. p.m., right, isn't it? So after this, we for keep working. For how long? So normally I can give for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, 30 minutes is over, yeah. <laughs> for a break, you take taking lunch, after taking <laughs> lunch, you <laughs> back, you keep working, isn't it? Because normally if you just want to be developed in what you're doing, you have to be more serious. Normally, let me tell you something. We are working on the timetable of those white people. Whereas those white people are already developed. But we should think, before them getting that development, how hard did they work? Were they taking this time for leisure as we are thinking? If you try to analyze, they really worked hard. They really worked hard to the extent that you can't believe. But as we are working with their timetable, Whereas we are not even living the same ground. Economically, they are already far away from us. So that's why we should not work as they are doing. We should work hard, reduce the time for leisure, and work. Uh, well, you're saying she's comparing ourselves uh, with, uh, you know, there's uh, worse than people. Yeah, yeah absolutely, like, uh, yes. Now, uh, you know, like we should also get, you know, some leisure time, but we don't know whether they do that mm. personally. I, you know, I can't uh, speak on their behalf because mm. I haven't been in their companies. But I want to know, uh, I want to know if you just, you know, limit uh, the time of your employees, like uh, to get some, some break, like you're giving them only 30 minutes. Don't you think that that might even hinder the development of your company since they'll be working hard to the point that they just, you know, don't, Mm. They, they seem to be focusing on, yeah. on, on the work, but at yeah. the end of the day, you find they are unproductive. I understand what yeah, you're sure. saying. All right. Come on. Patrick, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. you, you started a job by 2 a.m., isn't it morning? You know, when it's early in the morning, when someone is still energetic just to be working hard, isn't it? So four hours working, that's not much. Four hours working, doing something, that's really not much. And from four hours, by 12 p.m., I give you a break for 30 minutes to take lunch or to relax a bit, isn't it? And from this 12 to maybe 4 or 3, the job is over. That, that's not much. 4 or 3? Yeah, 4 or 3, then we stop the job. And, and, and how, how, how many hours per day? How many yeah. hours? Yeah. So let's take, say let's take a typical example, 8 hours. 8 hours? Do you yeah, think that's enough? I guess it's not yeah. even enough, it's less than that, because you're saying from 8, right? Yeah, from 8, eight to 12, eight, they are 4. They are 4. They are 4. And, and it? from, from 12 and a half? Yeah, from, from 12 and a half, two, and they keep moving two, to... 2, 4, or 3. Yeah, they, they are... You're also, they are also becoming lazy. <laughs> you're also becoming lazy. They, they, they are already late. They are already 8. Yeah, they are already sure. late. 
8. 8, sure. 2, 12, 4. 12 to 4. How many? 4. Other 4. 4. So but you are, you, are, you are like, you are, you are, you are like, um, you are putting a minus to those 4. Now it becomes 7 and a half, right? Yeah, let, let, let's take that. 7 let's half. Take, let's take that, yeah. You see, and, and you are, you are, you are like accusing her of not, you know, working hard. Right. Whereas you're saying like only seven and a half are enough. Yeah, the only problem, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm really focusing on this. Normally my sister been saying that he, she can give one hour for leisure time, isn't it? So imagine you giving one hour to the employees who are working eight hours a day. You know, they still have seven. And among those seven hours they have, you're not sure that maybe some of them are being late, you know. On Friday, maybe they are working, you know. They are just thinking of the weekend has already started. They are not working very well. So you can find yourself after analyzing, maybe after the end of the year, you find your company is not going anyway. So that's why we should be working hard. And if it's possible, you have to work. You have to increase the hours for the work. Uh, if possible. Yeah, why if don't possible, you think it should possible? increase. Why, why is it impossible? All right, it's everything, that's what I'm telling you. We are working on the, on the agenda, on the timetable of the Europeans and Westerners. Whereas we, we are not developed as they are. Are you sure we are working on the agenda? I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. I've been working with some of those guys who are from there. So I was talking to him, that's why I'm saying this, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. No, I'm asking. Mm. Are they the ones who come to tell you you have to work like this? Do they, are they giving yeah. you some orders? You have to set your time like this? Everything <laughs> starts with the colonization. That's where everything is starting. Oh, before colonization, from the day, Burundi from the and hour. Burundians didn't work before being colonized. Thank you very much. Eh? Before being they colonized, worked they worked early in the hard. morning at 6 a.m., finishing the work at maybe 6 p.m. Yeah, that's why yeah. that's why we were developed that that maybe today. <laughs> we were really developed before the colonizers <laughs> come to Burundi. I'm telling you. Even the head of state always said this, before we were able to make so many things, like the arrows, the hoes, you know, <laughs> for our sense. But since those guys came, we started working the, on the agenda of them. Their agenda, we started following. So from the day we started following the agenda, can you see how, we, how I, much I, we corrupt? You guys are confusing me. Yeah. It's as if you know what <laughs> happened before, but we as you don't know. Yeah. It's all about what you heard. <laughs> you yeah, see, we, we, Kelly is saying, mm. you know, our our ancestors could walk from six that's to... That's what I heard. That's and what you heard. You're not sure about know, that. I'm not sure of that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you don't know even uh, what kind of activities they're carrying out. Uh, I mean, are you... Can, can I ask one question to my sister? Yeah, come on. If go you ahead, can allow. Please. Can I ask you? Yes, Thank you very much. Ahead. So, let me ask you a very simple question. Yeah. You're going to answer with yes or no if you want, isn't it? Suppose... You are living life today, isn't it? So today, uh, you can see how smart you are, isn't it? Thank so you. today you are able to make the clothes by yourself. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose today you can make the clothes you're wearing by yourself. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then you keep living, making them, making them, you wear, it's okay, it's fine. But after some hours, someone comes, isn't it? He prevents you from making them. But it gives you another fashion or another style of living. Maybe you are, you know, uh, like printing, like making up, like using telephones. You forget about making the clothes. Whereas before you were able, according to you, have you been developed or you, 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 you've gone bankrupt? I've been developed. You've been? You know what? Uh, how? Let me, let me explain myself. Uh. When you discover something better than yours, you have to accept that. You have to integrate that in your, your lifestyle because it's better. We have oh. to admit that, that. Let me explain myself. That's the myself. problem we have. Eh? That's the problem we have. Oh, come people on. used to say that um, white people, they made us regress. I do not admit that. It's not true. Let's come back to the topic. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we are seeing that, you know, uh, the productivity of the country, as you say, the economy is, uh, is somehow, you know, slow. 
you know, the way it's developing. Mm. Why? So, Why do you say that? We, 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 are we are on, the, on, they, they the say that Burundi is the, poor, the poorest country in the world. According to who? That's what the statistics Even the Venezuela right now, they do not have any money any longer. Maybe Venezuela is the last, the poorest country. It's, I, know, I don't know if you, you heard about Venezuela. Why is still Burundi the poorest country when we hear a country of which course, any, not, do not oh, have oh, no, any... Anyway, anyway we, are, we, are, let's, we, are, we can't say we are underdeveloped countries because they, they try to change we are maybe on the, way the, the name of the country. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. You know, they say uh, countries in the way of developing. Mm -hmm. Developing countries. Of course, which means we are not developed. We have to, to, to accept it. it. Of course, we're still working on it. <laughs> so, uh, you're saying that leisure time is a necessity at the workplace. Uh, what do you think the leisure time can really help? So as, you know, the, the productivities of institutions, of companies, mm -hmm. maybe also like uh, a tool to develop the whole country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Patrick, let me explain myself in this way. Leisure time is not a wasted time. I think I made it clear. When having leisure activities, you are developing yourself, either physically, mentally, or in making uh, and socializing, socializing with others, or doing your hobbies that can improve your well-being. So it's not a wasted time. Then leisure activities will help the, the development of the country, of the camp, or of the company in this way. Once you are, you are feeling well. Once you are feeling that you are not stressed, you are you are going to improve your work. You are going to suppose for me, the leisure time will be reading. I like reading. While reading, I'm learning something. I'm learning new stuff. I'm learning how to to behave with Patrick, to behave with you. I'm learning how to to have good manners. I'm learning. I'm learning many things. This is gonna be improve my my what we call in French savoir vivre, which mm -hmm. is very important for a, a society, a company, or even the country. If leisure time is used in a, an appropriate way, it's gonna help you. Firstly your co-workers and the company and the country in on amo well mm, yeah, that's it at some extent mm. okay you hear her yeah you I'm know getting that time will help you will help your company will help the country at a given moment and you're saying you know if mm. we try to assess what is happening in the country in the burundi people are not really you know <laughs> they don't have the right to do so i mean to get the leisure time which yeah, let me let me let me say, yeah let me say something, guys. You have to listen to me carefully. I'm still standing on the same point. If you want to leave as a king tomorrow, you have to accept to leave as a slave late today. If you try to analyze the position of Burundi, maybe on basis of the statistics, isn't it? That is from maybe the so believed super nations. We should not, we don't deserve this leisure time. I'm repeating this to you again. We Burundian people, we still need to work hard. Maybe for the better future of our children, we don't really have, we don't really need the leisure time. We have to work as slaves today so that our children, our grandchildren can live as kings tomorrow. There is somebody who said, normally you should take a rest after knowing that you are occupying the highest level or lay that you are on the, on the last lead of life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So to me that... What do you mean by the highest level? Like, uh, yeah, I'm coming. The highest level, we are always basing on the development, isn't it? Okay, sure. We should be taking this leisure time after knowing that Burundi is now a developed country. Not a developing, but developed country already. So that's why, for me, a leisure time for, for us Burundian people is really... It's really not necessary. We should be working hard. Hard and hard. Yeah. What we tell you that we are developed, that we have already acquired what we've been looking for. And we can also be, you know, able to have that later time. Let me tell you something, Patrick. Mm -hmm. To your question you've been asking. Mm -hmm. You know, a country, 
Uh, something that we show that maybe we've, we, we are already developed, isn't it? First of all, there are some things we have to avoid in our country. For example, you can see some of the economic crises. You can be able to see this in Burundi. Some people are still starving. Of course, know, but we want to see. From anger. So you can say that the country is developed without some people are still starving. Whereas, for example, a person, a daily, if you try to, to, to calculate based on the statistics, you find someone can eat like 650, Is that much for, for, for a normal person to eat? Other countries, one person is some dollars a day, but you, you eat in francs, 600 francs a day, if you, we calculate. No, it's, that's why so they, they, that's they, they do say we don't have to count, I mean, to a major using, the barometer is not money, by the way, because here we like we, we we are farming and then we see the products from from the agriculture <laughs> then we eat mm. we don't need money why for example suppose you have the crops you have rice mm. you have beans you have even like uh, chicken there you can you see well so what do you need well, money for where are the chickens where, they, see, where, where are the chickens you say <laughs> <laughs> where are the chickens you say <laughs> do you sometimes <laughs> get them <laughs> so this is a question i'm asking these guys, that's why I said this is the mind of those guys. We, where are the chickens? We don't really have chickens. How can you say that we have chickens? Whereas there are some Burundian people, they he can even spend one year without eating a, eating a chicken. A rice, they only eat rice on maybe on the New Year day, yeah, maybe yeah. Christmas. if it's uh, Christmas. <laughs> How can you say that we have the crops? We don't really have. We have to accept this. That's why we have to use money. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm telling you. Mm. We are carrying some mind, the stereotype that we have made. We have them, whereas we don't have. That's why we should work as slaves today, so that tomorrow we can be eating chickens, as you are saying. Okay. But still, you can really work as a slave, but having leisure time, I said it, leisure time is not a wasted time. You can work hard yeah. by reading by learning new stuff yeah. yeah well just the last question to end up mm. our you know our standpoint our show oh. you saying we have to give for example if you are an employer you could give one hour of leisure mm -hmm. to your <laughs> employees that's kind of leisures i said of yeah. course of course reading, we, got, we don't we, doing yeah, physics yes, yeah i'm not you know basing my i'm not you know highlighting on the kind of leisure mm -hmm. but i want to know like and for how long what time would you give Per day, I mean, of, 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 of work, not 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 for later, for work. I mean, so as we count yeah. the the time that we, they will be working, the whole you time know, of working. You know, Patrick, um, eight hours minus one hour minus one means seven seven, seven hours a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's later time. You are working on your mind. You are developing your intellectual skills. Thanks. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Uh, what do you think about that? So, uh, thank you. You come on. Maybe on basis of the question you've recently asked my sister, like how many hours you can give for a work? If you ask me, if you allow to answer okay, this okay, question, okay. me personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Go, go ahead. It's normally me personally. Personally, I could give like for them like. We have, per day, we have 24, 24 hours. hours. So we should be working like 23 or 24 hours. I'm going to spend how? 23 or 24? 23 or 24 hours. I'm going to spend no time how? for resting. Day and night. Day we, and should night. Be, we should, no. be, we should be working. Maybe that, that's, that's my vision. Yeah, I sure. have but, if but I do you, do you it, think so. your health can allow you to do so? I mean, so for example, yeah. you, you're talking about shifting. Yeah, shift. They are shifting, night, night shift and day shift, yeah. you know, they can... But you seem to say, they are changing. It, the way you're, you're talking of, you, about that, it's as if you could keep the same employee, all those 23 no, 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 hours. No, 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 not the same employees, no. Okay, I'm just talking about Some one, them, one yes. employee then. How many, how, ma how many hours would you give him or her per day? So for, one me, for me, I could give like 10, 10 hours. 10 hours a day. 10 hours is enough, yeah, for me. Well, I guess, I guess we, we got to conclude this. Yeah. And I, okay. I, I wanna, I wanna thank you, both of you, for being here today. Thank you, Kelly, for you, your presence, mm -hmm. and thank you, uh, brother Captain, yes, for accepting pleasure. our invite. My pleasure. And we also have to thank our viewers for watching us. This is BNP TV. Stay tuned.